You're not from here. You don't know what it's like. All right, so just well. step back and keep your mouth shut. Mazaqueen is a unique internet protocol that allows for seamless peer-to-peer -peer financial transactions, completely secure, completely private. Mazaqueen is changing finance in the same ways that the horse changed our culture because it's carrying us now into the future. And it can carry you into the future as well. Here in Pine Ridge, we don't have an economy. Our economy here is ranching cattle, but we don't own the cattle. It's owned by non-natives and then taking their money and then spending it elsewhere. For the past three, four generations, we've been surviving with uh, artwork, drawings, paintings, beadwork, quill work, all of this stuff. There's a whole lot of home-based operations. When you look around here, we've got to focus on what's happening here first. This has to be a priority. When I have people starving to death and I have people sleeping in abandoned cars, I don't care if the state gets upset because they might lose $100,000 a year. It's time to stay focused on the real actual problem. Mazacoin is a variation of Bitcoin with a social purpose. I, we're a Native American variation and we're designed basically to help promote economic development and growth for the indigenous tribal communities. As Miles Queen develops, I want people to be able to come in and see it at work. They can get a cream puff at the bakery, they can go shopping at the store. If they want to attend college, you know, they can pay for the college tuition in Mazacoin. Those are all future goals that we're hoping are accomplished here really, really soon. The framework is there. Now it's just a matter of getting that first retailer to say, all right, I'll, I'll try this out and see what happens. It's a real simple app. It's basically a currency for the tribe. That's the Mazacoin that I have. Oh, you're They're rich. I wish I was. In your case, for a small business owner, you would have like a little point of sale terminal. It could be a tablet, it could be a phone. You have a little app that looks like that. What are all the different coins? What do you mean? Um, these are all different cryptocurrencies. Sounds like a fiction movie. Okay, you're talking to a woman that's over 50. I'm very limited. I could barely text. I mean, everything's scary. There's so many, you know, there's just too many smart people that can hack into stuff like that, and I don't trust it. And I really think this has the, the potential to... That's what you're trying yeah, to do, is the, get this going on the reservation? Get this going on the reservation. I wouldn't go that route. I would stay old school as long as I can. In an economy like it is here, I don't see how they can afford the technology to even do that if they wanted to use it for their sales. What you have to understand, for the tribes, every couple years we have a group or a company or a corporation that come in and say, we're gonna save the day, we're gonna bring jobs, we're gonna do all this, and inevitably they either fail, they give up, but the people are left with, again, nothing. You know, if they can't feel it in their hand or hear it jingling in their pocket, they don't believe that it's real. This one? This one is a church and soup line You'll get people that will come in um, to get a warm meal. Generally, they'll have crashed out in one of the fields somewhere or you know, wherever they can find a place to sleep. Bitcoin is a digital cryptocurrency. It's kind of like a digital... Um, I have heard about that. Yeah, you've heard of it. I could take anyone and say, look, this is the basics. You know, you want to trade Mazacoin, Bitcoin, but you Dogecoin. Do you mm -hmm. can do it here. No, you couldn't. Yeah, you could. Well, that's what we're because working on doing. it's not going to happen, Matt. And they're not going to back a Bitcoin. They're not going to back anything that 
No, I don't see it happening. Oh, well, and that's where you just gotta keep hope, you know. You can keep on them all you want. They believe in the way that your grandpa taught, taught them. Yeah. And there's no Bitcoin. There was no Bitcoin involved anyway. Don't give up hope. Things will change. Ready? Yeah, well, I'll go back to your reservation. My grandma's a Puyer. I am on my reservation. I don't give a fuck. Where are your grandma's from? This is Pine Ridge. And my grandma's from Pine Ridge. Well, Porcupine. you're not from here. You're not from here. You don't know what it's like to be here. You know I don't what know what it's like, like to be here. You fucking poor. You Dude. don't know what it's like to have a fucking sheriff roll down on you. You don't know what it's like. All right. So just well. step back and keep your mouth shut. Dude, I've lived here for hey. 10 years. I just told you to keep your mouth shut. When you've lived in a completely different level of poverty through your whole life, and there's, there are no jobs, it doesn't breed a lot of hope. It breeds despair. And that's why the Mazacoin project as a whole is so important, because we want to bring hope back. There's an issue with Mazacoin and our acceptance at coinpayments.net. Right now, I'm basically just letting them know that you know, Mazacoin doesn't appear to be listed anymore and inquiring as to if it's intentional or if it's a tech issue. If it was an intentional decision to remove Mazacoin support, well, we'd like to address why. I mean, is it because of the low volume? Is it because they lost faith in it? Okay, you know, everyone has a choice. Just contact me. So as, you know, natives, we're always, you know, thinking of the future. Our ancestors did. They always thought of They always thought seven generations ahead. Seven generations from now, I envision and just doing our warrior deeds, you know, like our ancestors did years ago, we're doing here in the, in the 21st century. If it doesn't work out, everyone stops mining it. Nobody wants to deal with it anymore. It's one of those things where I can look back and say we gave it a good shot. Would I like to have, you know, cash in my pocket? Absolutely. Would I like to be driving a Lamborghini? Absolutely. Will I drive a Lamborghini someday? Absolutely. Obstacles are what we see when we take our eyes off of Christ. You know, and it's easy, especially in this environment, especially the environment on the rest, it's easy to give up. It's easy to be like, you know what, I ain't doing this anymore, it doesn't work, forget it. You just gotta stay focused. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, oh. When I first saw you, I knew I had to ask about you. Oh, 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 oh did you see that girl?